Today we're going to show you how to use a punch down tool to push your term cables into the terminals on the back of a typical BT socket. This one that I've actually got here is actually a dual master socket and what we're looking for here is on the back we have some numbers that is printed on there and <clears throat> we're looking mainly for two and five so what we're going to do is I've already stripped back a solid core cable for this I've used cat5 just for the purpose of this demonstration and I'm going to choose just the two cores that I'm going to need and what I'm going to do is that on this jack here I'm going to put the cable from the inside of the actual terminals there so all my cables are going to go from the outside there and they're going to go into the middle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this punching tool which you can get from most places DIY shops and stuff like that that do networks and you'll see on the side there that it's actually got little pincers them little pincers need to go to the outside so where this cable is here when we punch this down them little clippers chop off the end of this cable and all that we're going to do is that with the big side of the punch down tool towards the middle there we're going to push that down and it's going to click when it gets into place that's the cable onto pin 5 and then we're going to do the same again on the other side onto number 2 and again we're going to use this time we're going to turn the punch tool around because the big part needs to be in the centre of the contacts and then we're going to push down on that one and that's it that's your socket connected so you can use this to extend your socket if you're going to add an additional one or um, typically you'd use a master socket for your first socket that is probably the one where BT have fitted one in your house and then from there you would probably use in a domestic you'd have a little front plate that you can take off you would from that little piece that you take off is where you could connect your slave sockets onto if you're going to put a few more extensions around your house i hope this video is useful thanks